In this video, I'm going to show you how to install and use Google Drive File Stream. File Stream lets you access your Google Drive from your file explorer as though you were connected to a network drive. I'll show you what I mean. If I open up my file explorer by clicking on this folder here and scroll down to my drives, one of them is called Google Drive File Stream. If I click on that and select My Drive, I'll see all of the files and folders stored in my Google Drive. What Google Drive File Stream doesn't do is back up my files for me. Anything in this drive is online, but anything stored anywhere else is not. Just to be safe, I'd recommend saving everything you can't stand to lose in this drive. Before installing it, it's a good idea to upload all of the files you need to your Google Drive so you can work out of one place going forward. The easiest way to do that is to put everything you want into one folder so you can upload them to your Google Drive all at once. I'm going to use this folder here as an example. To upload it, I just need to go to my Google Drive in Chrome, click New, and select Folder Upload. After that, I locate my folder and click OK. This folder doesn't have too much in it, but you may be in for a bit of a wait if you're uploading lots of files. Now that I have all my files in one place, I'll show you how to install File Stream. From your Google Drive, click the gear in the top right, and then click Download Drive File Stream for Windows. Scroll down and click on Download for Windows. If it asks you where you want to save it, choose the location you'd prefer and click Save. Once it's done downloading, click on it in the bottom left. It will ask you if you want to allow the app to make changes to your device. Click on Yes. And it will start downloading and installing. Once installation is complete, you'll be prompted to sign in to Google Drive. If you have two-factor authentication enabled, you'll have to respond to the prompt on your phone. And that's it. Google Drive file stream is installed. Now that it's installed, I'll show you what you can do with it. If I head to my Google Drive through here, I'll see all my files. If I double click on one of my Google Docs, it opens up in Chrome. That's not too different from working out of Chrome all the time, but here's another thing it can do. If I double click on this Smart Notebook file, it opens in Smart Notebook. This doesn't only apply to Smart Notebook either, it works with any program. I can use the file, edit it, and even save it. Now if I close this down and look at my drive, I can see that it's uploading my new save. Now the new version of my notebook file is already stored in the cloud. If I drop my laptop in a pool tomorrow, I won't lose any of my work. I can just go to my Google Drive on another computer, open up my file, and all my changes are there. One thing you may be thinking is that you won't have access to your files when you're not connected to the internet. But here's how you can get around that. If there's a folder that you always want access to, just right click it and select Google Drive File Stream available offline. Once you do that, File Stream will download everything in the folder and keep those files in both places. You can work with those files when you're offline and your computer will send your changes to the cloud next time you connect to the internet. Be careful not to enable this on too many folders though, or your computer's hard drive will fill up pretty quick. Myself, I make this one folder available offline, and I only put the things I need offline in here. You have unlimited storage in your Google Drive, but your computer only has so much space. 
Now you may notice that this folder has a little green check mark next to it. That means that the files within it are available offline and that everything's up to date. Most of my folders have this cloud, which means that they're only available online. Some of them have this little guy next to them. That means that they're shared with somebody. And this one has a blue circle with two white arrows in it. That means it's currently syncing my local files with my online ones. Now it's important to remember that FileStream does not back up your local files. If something happens to your laptop, you'll still lose everything stored on your C drive. Only the files you keep in your Google Drive will be backed up. Thanks for watching, and I hope Google Drive FileStream makes managing your files a little easier.